Hi everyone, welcome and today I'm going to show you how to use polygon textures inside of 3D Studio Max and V-Ray. So the first thing I'll do is go up here to my render setup and I'm going to be using the V-Ray RT render so that I can see all my changes in real time. Now I'll go and open up this V-Ray frame buffer and then press this button so that the interactive rendering will start. Now at the moment you're seeing it's just black and that's because we need to add some lighting in here. So let's go and add a V-Ray dome light. And there we go, now we're seeing some lighting. However, I want to have the scene be lit by an HDRI map. So, let's go over here to Texture. Expand this. And I want to load in a V-Ray HDRI map. And then I'm going to be using this Beach HDRI right here. Okay, so we're seeing the lighting affecting the scene, although it's a little dark at the moment. So I'll change that by opening up my material editor. And I'm going to take this V-Ray HDRI and drag it into an empty slot. Make sure it's an instance. And then I'll increase the overall multiplication here to 7. Okay, now that that's sufficiently bright, I'm going to go and load my maps in for the material. So make sure to drag the material onto your sphere. And then I'm going to change this to a V-Ray material. And for the moment, I'm going to go over to Diffuse and change it to a black color so that we can see everything more clearly. And I'll change the reflection to white so that it's completely shiny. Now the first map I'm going to load in is going to be the displacement map. So with the sphere selected, go to the modifier panel. And we're going to add in a V-Ray Displacement modifier. Okay, now let's load our texture map in. So load the bitmap. And I'm going to be using this 16-bit uh, displacement map. And as you can see, it's working immediately. If I zoom in here, you'll see we're getting some nice displacements, although it's a little strong at the moment. So I'm just going to go and change the amount here. Bring it down a little bit because the tiles we don't want them to be sticking out too much. Alright let's load in our other maps now. So going back to the material editor just expand maps. And I'm going to be loading in my normal so go down here to bump. And make sure to load in the V-Ray normal map. Then under normal map here load in bitmap and I'm going to be using this 16-bit uh, normal here. Now the only adjustment that we need to make is to flip the green channel here with polygon textures and then that will correct the normal direction. Alright, now let's load in the other maps. The next one is going to be the R glossiness. So I'll load in my gloss map right here. And we can see the effect happening more clearly with uh, certain areas being more shiny and other areas being more rough. The next map is going to be the reflection color here under reflect. And then we just load in our reflection map. Now at the moment it's gone pretty much all black and that's because we need to invert this map type. So just expand output, click invert, and there you go. And then the last map that we load in is going to be the color. So go to Diffuse and choose the color map. And there we go. So that's pretty much it for the basics of loading textures into 3D Studio Max. And make sure to watch part two where I go over surface imperfection overlays. Thanks for watching.